Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss about uh, tailings. So tailings are basically the genome editing technology which we can use to modify or manipulate any type of our uh, desired sequence. So basically uh, tailings is a uh, stand for uh, transcription. Activator like effector nucleus. It uh, consists of two uh, types of domain. The first one is a tail uh, protein. And the second one is catalytic restriction endo nuclease enzyme. So basically the tailings are uh, those uh, type of genome editing technology in which they uh, consist of two uh, units. The first one is a, a tail uh, transcription activator uh, like uh, effector protein and the second one is a catalytic restriction enzyme which is known as POC1. POC1. So uh, basically POC1 uh, function is a restriction yeah, and do nuclease and they cut the DNA into a, uh, a, a double standard uh, brick. Now let's uh, go to start the mechanism of telling genome editing technology. So consider this is a, a plasmid in which the telling sequence are present and also the uh, 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 POC sequence are uh, present. So it is a, a tail sequence. So uh, when this uh, plasmid are uh, enter into our uh, desired cell to, to edit a genome, so they uh, enter into uh, our uh, desired uh, cell. So here, uh, when a transformation process are occur and uh, this plasmid are entered into uh, the cell, so they uh, trans uh, transcribe into uh, mRNA, and this mRNA produce inside the cell tail protein and uh, fork enzyme so here this is our a target sequence in which we want to uh, mutate or manipulate this uh, sequence so every uh, telling amino acid uh, are attached to only one uh, nucleotide like that uh, that is the a t c g uh, t c so the recognition side of uh, tailing are attached to uh, this uh, side. This is the one uh, amino acid unit. This is the another amino acid unit of tailing. This is the other, and this is the other. And uh, other uh, catalytic endonuclease are also attached in this uh, uh, tailing uh, protein, which is basically POC1 endonuclease enzyme. Here also the, the sequence are present A, T, C, G, G, A, T and uh, POC1 restriction enzyme are also present. When, the, when uh, these are uh, complementary to each other this POC1 and poke uh, one enzyme with each other, they pump a, a domain. So they cut the DNA into uh, this uh, side and they make double a standard 
break. So basically, the tailing are uh, we can uh, receive the tailing from the uh, pathogenic bacteria, plant pathogenic bacteria, which enhance the transcription process of. A, a, a plant now when the double standard uh, formation are occur so uh, the the two pathway are involved to prepare this double standard uh, break the first one is uh, homo homology sorry the first one is uh, homology end joining in which a uh, homologous uh, chromosome come here and uh, prepare this double uh, standard break like uh, that and the other uh, pathway which are involved in the repair process of this uh, double standard break is a non homologous end joining so there are some uh, enzyme or protein are involved to uh, prepare this uh, double uh, standard uh, break so this is uh, all uh, about a uh, short uh, review of uh, uh, tailin genome editing uh, technology. So the difference between uh, tailin and uh, CRISPR case uh, nine is that uh, that the in CRISPR case nine the guide RNA are uh, complementary to our desired uh, sequence and uh, tailin a protein a tail protein. A tailin, sorry, a ta tail a protein are attached to our desired sequence. So this is the difference between CRISPR and uh, tailin. And CRISPR guide RNA are attached to our uh, desired sequence. And uh, tailin uh, genome editing technology, the uh, tail uh, protein are uh, come uh, uh, come and uh, come bind bind to the uh, our desired sequence. Uh, so this is the uh, all about uh, today lecture. Hopefully you understand this lecture. Thank you. See you next time.